Hey guys, Bob Wilkerson here, Refined Lending. Um, just reaching out to you today to talk about pre-approval. Uh, it's definitely one of the most uh, important steps to purchasing a home, getting your pre-approval completed. What I want to talk about is what you need to bring to your loan officer. So first things, you know, we gotta have your address history. Uh, we're gonna do a credit check. It's always, my, my theory is always more information is always better than less. So if you're worried about your credit, um, don't be worried about the credit pull because we want to make sure we get that information. If there's things to fix, we'll work on that. Other things that you want to make sure you have, your last three pay stubs. It's always the most important thing because we need to establish uh, your stable monthly income. Uh, other important things are bank statements. Um, unless you're getting your down payment as a gift, then we just talk that through. Um, if you're self-employed, we'll need tax returns. If you've changed jobs a lot in the last couple years, we'll also want to see your W-2s. Again, we need to establish a stable monthly income um, to make sure that you're pre-qualified for the loan that, you're, that best fits your needs. So things that you don't need, uh, you definitely don't need your social security card. Um, it's not something that we copy or want to have. You keep that in a safe place at home. Uh, other quick note that I should represent or uh, talk about is the difference between pre-approval and pre-qualification. So pre-qualification is when you call in and you say, here's my situation, am I approved? And you say, well, based on those parameters, yeah, I think you're approved, that's a pre-qual. Um, doesn't hold as much weight as an actual pre-approval where we go through the credit check and we actually verify your, your documents. So um, again, if you have any other questions, reach out, Bob Wilkerson, Refined Lending.